Hey grade fours, let's start our next communicating skills lesson. Today's lesson will be on affixes, or otherwise known as prefixes and suffixes. An affix is a word that is part of a root word. Sometimes an affix comes before a root word, and sometimes it comes after a root word. When it comes before a root word, it is called a prefix. When it comes after a root word, it is called a suffix. The root word is the main part of a word that gives that word its meaning. When you attach a prefix to a root word, you add a little extra information, and that can change its meaning. Some common prefixes are co, dis, re, pre, miss, and d. All of these would be attached to the beginning of the root word and would be called prefixes. Let's take a look at some examples of prefixes. Number one, if we take the prefix re, which means again, and add it to the root word of play, it becomes replay. Now it means to play again. Number two, if we take the prefix un, which means not able, and add it to the root word of able, it now becomes unable, which means not able to do something. And number three, if we take the prefix pre, which means before, and add it to the root word of school, it becomes preschool. You go to preschool before you go to school. Remember, the root word is the main part of a word that gives that word its meaning. When you add a suffix to the root word, it changes its meaning. Some common suffixes include ing, est, ed, li, ish, er. Now, let's look at some examples of suffixes. Number one, if you take the suffix less, which means without, and add it to the root word of fear, it becomes fearless, meaning without fear. You can see the difference in the two sentences. I showed fear around the tiger. Now it becomes, I was fearless around the tiger. Number two, if I take the suffix ed, which means something that has been already done, and add it to the root word jump, it becomes jumped, meaning I have already jumped. You can see the difference in the sentences. I jump for joy, now becomes I jumped for joy. Okay, let's get some practice. All you need to do here is for each root word I've provided, please try and figure out which affix fits into the blank. Remember, it could be a prefix or it could be a suffix. Let's see how we have done. Number one, a wonderful teacher took the kids on a field trip. We have inserted the suffix of full to the end of the root word. Number two, I knocked on the door slowly. For this one, we've attached the suffix of li to the root word of slow. And three, I will redo my homework so it is neater. For this one, we have attached the prefix of re to the root word of do. This time, you will have to choose the correct affix to complete the story. Remember, you may add a prefix or a suffix to the root words. Let's go through it together. This is how the story reads. It was a nice day to play outside and ride our bicycles. So we prepared a lunch and went to the park. We had to stop because my shoelaces were untied. Once we made it, we had so much fun. It was a beautiful day. Now it is time for our last activity. For this one, please match the affix with its meaning based on the word that is given. Dis means not. Miss means wrong, pre means before, re means again, est means most, above means can be done, less means without, full means full of. Great job, grade fours. Now it's time to open up our communicating skills book and complete pages 61 and 80. Please make sure you read the green box found at the top of the page.